Hello and welcome to Top X, where we count down the very best that YouTube has to offer. I'm your host Dan, and today we're counting down a topic that can really only exist on YouTube, Top 10 Lifestyle Vloggers. For this list, we're counting down those devoted YouTubers that broadcast their lives on a semi-daily basis for all the world to see. Last week, we counted down the top 10 YouTube comedians. So, if there's a vlogger you don't see here who you think is especially funny, there's a good chance that he or she ended up on our list from last week instead. For our ranking, while views and subscriber numbers were a major factor, we also took into consideration votes from our users, personal preference, and general impact on the YouTube community. Number 10, Grace Helbig. Guys, I'm trying this new look with my eye makeup. I'm calling it slightly more elegant morning after. Our first vlogger is Grace Helbig, who's been publishing on YouTube for about eight years now. Since then, her channel features a variety of podcasts, mail vlogs, and video diaries. Actually, her podcast, Not Too Deep, debuted at number one on the iTunes podcast charts when it premiered. And we called ourselves Sheenanigans. Are you serious? I hate myself. Grace is super involved in the YouTube community, in so much that she collaborates with a lot of other popular YouTube personalities, like Tyler Oakley and Lily Singh, to name just two. The loser has to take a shot? A shot, great. Perfect. Awesome. And the winner can also take a shot. We'll both take shots. Now, despite the fact that she's on the lower end of the subscriber numbers compared to some of the others on this list, Grace has had a lot of success outside of YouTube. She was a correspondent on G4's Attack of the Show, has recently published a book, and has appeared in a number of commercials for Lowe's. Boom! Looks as good as it did the first time! Cool! We can use that. Number 9, Natalie Tran. Next up is Natalie Tran from Down Under, whose videos are peppered with a fair amount of self-deprecating humor. Because you know, sometimes a friend just won't feel sorry for you, and then you have to go and feel sorry for yourself. Even her tagline reflects this, as it currently reads, Community Channel. Even my cat doesn't like me. As far as style goes, it's your pretty standard vlog. It's usually just Natalie in front of her computer, complaining or explaining something that grinds her gears on the day in particular. So you know what's stressful? Watching someone type with two fingers. One of my favorite things about her videos is that instead of employing other actors whenever she needs other people in a shot, instead she uses fancy camera tricks to duplicate herself. This is funny because it, well, it sort of looks funny, but it also sort of reinforces the self-deprecating humor that is pervasive throughout the whole channel. Can you give my parents this letter? It'll tell them how to divvy up my DVDs. I'm gonna give you Band of Brothers, cause we're like Band of Brothers. Now, when I say self-deprecating, that's not to say that her whole channel is just devoted to taking the piss out of herself. Rather, it just sort of adds to the charm of the channel because it just shows that she doesn't take herself too seriously and adds to the overall effect of whatever she's talking about. Number eight, Shay Tards. Who's ready to have a baby? Me. I'm ready to have a baby, are you? Oh, my Next up are the Shaytards, who are known as the first family of YouTube, and that's a title they've certainly earned. This channel follows the exploits of the Butler family, helmed by Shay Carl Butler, or just Shay Carl, if you want to get technical. Hello, it is Friday morning. Yeah! The Shaytards are a family unit first and foremost, and all of their videos focus almost entirely on their intimate family life. This is something that's also reflected in their tagline, which reads, if it's worth living, then it's worth recording. They've certainly decided that theirs is a life worth recording because they upload about five videos a week, and they've been doing it for about five years. This means that they're a good channel to follow, not just because of the sheer volume of videos, but because their videos provide a rather heartwarming look at a family growing in real time over the years. <laughs> you had a baby. You just had a baby. <laughs> that said, it's never too hokey, never too hallmark moment. While not every video is meant to be funny, the whole channel has an overarching feeling of fun and adventure. Thank you for being part Thank of this, you for everything. this thing we call life. Number 7, Superwoman. Next up we have Lily Singh, who's technically cheating because she has two main vlogging channels, but we're going to let her slide because she's also technically Canadian. If you were a unicorn, yes. what color would your unicorn tail be? Pink. Pink? Pink. That's awesome because mine would be pink also. Yeah, I'd, I'd be a very comfortable with my sexuality unicorn. While she does do extremely popular skit videos, stuff like what girls do when they're getting ready. Uh, I'll be there for nine. Okay, cool. I'll do it. 
the bulk of her content is just day-to-day -day vlogging. Now, because she's so popular, this day-to-day -day vlogging takes her all over the world, so it's not just her describing what she had for breakfast that day. These elephants were amazing! These elephants be playing sports! What helps to separate her from her other YouTube peers is her Punjabi heritage, which shines through both subtly and overtly in a lot of her videos. Most notably in her Shit Punjabi Mother Say video, which coincidentally is one of her most popular. Being Superwoman, she's not just confined to YouTube either. She's actually also a motivational speaker and a stand-up comedian. Number six, Swoozy. Swoozy is the master storyteller. While many vlogs focus on sort of a day-to-day -day updates and other vlogs focus on the hey, this grinds my gears sort of rants, Swoozy is at his best when he's telling an elaborate story. Look over at this picture and this picture looks like if Beyonce and Adriana Lima had a love child. On top of his natural talent for storytelling, he also collaborates with animators to bring his stories to life, making for surprisingly engaging tales. Now, while not all of his stuff is fully animated, it's always slickly edited with visual aids, music, and cutaway jokes that make them very fun to watch. Other vlogs have a kind of a problem where they tend to drag because they're not visually appealing. Swoozy finds some very creative ways around this, and his videos definitely flow better as a result. But we all have that person out there that we don't really like. I'd say that his vlog is specifically appealing to guys because he sort of strikes the right balance between geek culture, relationship advice, and just day-to-day -day foibles. Then Jane lifts my boxers, and then all of a sudden I hear, dun, 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 and her mom opens the door. Hey, Jane, Warren's hit. Number five, Dan is not on fire. So remember when we said that Natalie Tran was pretty good at mixing in self-deprecating humor into her videos? Well, Dan Howell's channel is built almost entirely around ripping on just him. Hello Internet, my name is Dan and I let you laugh at my life so you can feel better about yours. He calls his channel an internet support group for people who hate other people. And that pretty much says it all. However, while making fun of himself is a key staple of the channel, it's also very relatable, especially to young adults. Along with what's on my mind, slow walking people, Die. I don't like interacting with other humans. While some of his most popular videos are more rants than actual advice, videos like how to ruin a meme or what not to do in a movie theater offer pretty hilarious takes on things that have been bugging him as of late. A little bit of rustling is fine, but when it's the quiet, emotional part of the film and then someone's just completely obliviously going... His vlogs also cover a really wide variety of topics, from crushing, life-changing embarrassment to day-to-day -day trivial stuff like how to get out of bed. And I do mean that literally. He has a video titled, How to Get Out of Bed. I have discovered the secret to getting out of bed. Surely one of the greatest problems our generation faces. Number four, Vlog Brothers. Vlog Brothers is the brainchild of Hank and John Green, who I'm sure you'll be shocked to find out are actually brothers. We promised to make a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday into perpetuity. You failed to make a video, but the bitching boo boo. Punishment. Much like Seinfeld, the Vlog Brothers describe their channel as a channel about nothing. And much like the popular sitcom, they've managed to turn their show about nothing into something that's actually a lot of fun to watch. I'm a little bit freaked out by all the dying birds. And now that thousands of birds have fallen prey to this bizarre and seemingly unprecedented event, I have found several entirely insane theories about what happened to them. What's ironic is that lately, the brothers actually rarely appear in a video together, and it's usually just one or the other. Although it seems that they appear in about an equal amount of content. Here's another interesting bit of John trivia. There might be more forms of John than there are forms of any other name. Jane, Gianni, Juan, Ivan, Janice, Joan, Ian, Yanni. They cover anything and everything. Allow me to list a few of the titles of their more popular clips. A goat giving birth. 53 terrible jokes. Understanding the Ukraine. And finally, Tumblr, the musical. All of those have over 2 million views. Number three, Tyler Oakley. As we've already seen, a lot of these YouTubers like to appear on other channels and do collaborations with other personalities. But none has popped up more in our research than Tyler Oakley. He loves to appear on other channels, making him a bit of a YouTube celebrity, even among other YouTube celebrities. 
opened fan mail with the overly attached girlfriend Lena, played What Is It with Tanya, reacted to Two Girls One Cup with Grace, proved that me and Corey are BFFs. Now, that's not to say he doesn't have a whopping amount of content on his own channel. He has a Q&A show called Ask Tyler, travel videos, day in the life videos, and a series of interviews that are seriously impressive. Can we talk about something? Yeah. You retweeted me last month. I did. I might you have did. retweeted you tonight, yeah. but I'm not sure. I was looking at your page. Yeah. Well, we've already mentioned that he's a huge YouTube celebrity, but he's also becoming a bit of a celebrity outside of YouTube. He's appeared on the Teen Choice Awards, raised huge amounts of money for the LGBT community, and scored some really impressive interviews with people like One Direction and Michelle Obama. Hey guys, it's me, Tyler Oakley, and I am here with the one and the only First Lady herself, Michelle Obama. Hello. Hey. Number two, BF versus GF, or boyfriend versus girlfriend. This channel is run by a couple you may already be familiar with from their Prank versus Prank channel. Now, unlike that channel, which is obviously devoted to pranks, BF versus GF is a channel almost entirely devoted to the day-to-day -day lives of this couple. So we just found out about two minutes ago that we're going to be doing that. Not too excited about bungee jumping. When I say day to day, I do mean that quite literally as they upload a new video every day. What's quite interesting about their videos is that while they do seem to have a disproportionate amount of fun, it's not all smiles and sunshine. This being an actual relationship, it does have its ups and downs, and this is all chronicled in vivid detail on their vlog. We're having relationship problems, peeps. But not anything major like we're going to break up, so don't worry about that. That's, of course, not to say that it's all drama. They lead rather exciting lives. So between, you know, getting a new cat and figuring out how to spice up their relationship, you get to go on vacation with them, go bungee jumping, and, of course, watch them play the occasional prank on each other. I thought I would play this really good prank on him where I pretend that I'm cheating on him. What the? Look, I'm gonna your ass, bro. All in all, it makes for a very engaging experience, especially after you've become attached to the two personalities involved. Peace on the streets south. Anyone and everyone can create a vlog on YouTube, so it's likely that we missed a few good ones. That being said, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, good mythical morning. Join us on a journey into the weirdest parts of the internet. Let's do that. Back from their appearance on last week's list of top 10 YouTube comedians are Rhett and Link with their second channel, Good Mythical Morning. Good Mythical Morning! While other vlogs follow their personalities all over the world in their day-to-day -day lives, Good Mythical Morning, as you may have guessed or seen, is formatted like a morning show. Um, a lot of people search and make videos about, including SciShow recently, of how to stop hiccuping once right. you have started. Aside from the clean, professional format that the show has evolved into today, one of the reasons I think it's garnered so much popularity is that each episode has a theme. So instead of labeling the episodes with a date or a number, each one poses a question, has a countdown, or some sort of challenge. Examples include weirdest websites on the internet, six animals that can speak human, or can you give yourself hiccups? I feel like I, I'm dancing on the edge of a hiccup, but... <clears throat> it's this finely tuned mix of dependable professional format and insane variety that makes this channel an easy pick for number one. <laughs> That's a cold, a cold line. What? <laughs> That's it for this week. We hope you liked our picks. Be sure to vote on future episodes on our website, and for more great top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. <laughs>